Uh, okay, uh, and there's uh, the caduceus wound coil there. And there's the feedback coil. There's a phase reversal switch for the feedback coil, and there's the connectors. And over here I have, inside my little Faraday cage, I have uh, an AM radio tuned to 174 kilohertz. And uh, the numbers on the top is uh, 20 dB signal strength and 0, 0 dB signal to noise ratio. In other words, no signal, all noise. So I'll put the lid back on the Faraday cage. And... Turn the, the noise you're hearing is a fan. In the, so we'll turn it on. And uh, it sucks so much power that the fan kind of dies. And then we push the key. So we're transmitting uh, from this antenna into the Faraday cage. I got a heat problem. At uh, 174 kilohertz. And you can hear the noise go away, hear the hissing, and then when I turn the unit on, that noise goes away because we're transmitting the carrier in there. Now, when I key the thing, you can hear the modulation. Just out of curiosity, let's see what the carrier says. Focus, damn it. It's 37 dB. I can't get the thing to focus. 38 dB with the lid off. So we've got a pretty good carrier going in there. And plenty of modulation through the Faraday cage. Okay, so that's a caduceus wound coil. Crosses at 90 degrees. Uh, how many crosses are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight total crosses. And then here's a feedback coil here. I believe that this one has a hundred turns on it. I can't really remember. And then this is a phase reversal switch for the feedback coil. It's a double pole, double throw toggle switch that you can use to swap the ends, basically, of the coil. And there's the connection to the caduceus coil, to the coax. And there's the coax connector so I can unplug the thing. And there's the scalar EM transmitter box unit. power supply and uh, I haven't actually had this thing apart in a while I don't remember I don't remember what's in there I think it's probably got a rat's nest in there I'm actually recording this. I just always drop things in the dog's water. I think that this is a circuit. I've, I've made this, oh, I don't know, probably 15 years ago. I think that this is a circuit that I got from Jean Louis Naudin's site, JLN. So what do we see in there? Uh, it looks like we got a 3055 power transistor on a heat sink. That would be the RF output stage. Then over here we have, uh, let's see, that's a 555. Uh, and a couple of other transistors there. What are those? I cannot read the numbers on those. Probably MOSFETs. Um, 
So what it looks like is uh, an oscillator uh, and a basic RF amplifier. And I guess it's the caduceus coil itself that is the special thing that turns it into a scalar transmitter. Alright, thanks for watching.